And all new at six, new fallout from an ABC 15 investigation. Mayor Kate Gallego is apologizing to this Wall Street Journal reporter who was handcuffed and detained by Phoenix police. It's after Chief Investigator Dave Biscopine broke this story, showing you witness video of that incident. Yeah, Dave's back tonight after getting a hold of that apology letter. The mayor emailed her apology directly to the reporter a couple days after our first story. Now we got a copy and it's important for several reasons. In her email, Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego makes it clear. She thinks what happened to Wall Street Journal reporter Dion Rabowin outside of a North Phoenix bank is a serious problem. She wrote, in part, I am deeply sorry for the way you were treated. It was unacceptable and fell far short of my expectations for the treatment of any resident or any visitor. He's a reporter and I heard him say he was going to leave. On November 23rd, Chase Bank employees called police because Rabowin was outside on the sidewalk interviewing people about savings accounts and interest rates. Police claim bank employees asked him to leave, but Rabowin says that's false. Now Chase subsequently apologized to him saying it never should have happened. As for the city, they have not released any body camera footage. This video captured by a witness. The mayor wrote she became aware of the incident through media reports. That's another issue. Chief Michael Sullivan and the entire Phoenix Police Public Information Office received a direct complaint from the Wall Street Journal a month ago. The mayor closing, please know Chief Sullivan is aware of my displeasure and that I will continue to push hard for the reform needed within the department. It's important to remember that Phoenix is under DOJ investigation for First Amendment violations and a long list of other issues. Now, you can see all of our reporting on this case through the top stories on ABC15.com slash investigators. I'm Investigator Dave Biscovic, ABC15, Arizona.